Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Let's see here. Power number 10. Number 2. And number 7. Okay. Oh, I did my numbers wrong. Added them up. It's Monday. <laughs> Looks like we're going to the power of number 19, not number 24. <laughs> Some of you Scorpios could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio born in the month of October. You could also be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. Others of you are dealing with a Capricorn or possibly an Aquarius born in the month of January. Strong Aries energy coming in through the power of number zero and also the number one. However, with the number one, it brings uh, in <clears throat> Gemini energy along with also Virgo again. Pisces energy kicking back in once more through the power of number 12. Aquarius energy coming back in again through the number 17. And also Leo coming back around the bend through the power of number 19. You could have been born in 1970, 1971, 1972, or 1979. Others of you could have been born in 1990, 1991, 1992, or possibly 1997. You might be 20, 21, 27, or 29 years of age. But going to the power of number 19, Scorpio. Messages from your specific person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collected A message, please, from Scorpio's person unto them? Show me what's up. Mm. Sign of Aquarius coming in through the star card. They want to reconcile with you or they see you. They see you in their mind's eye like bigger than them. There could also be a sense of intimidation, Scorpio, that this person has towards you or they view you surprisingly enough, like a little superstar. Mm. You could also be dealing with a celebrity more specifically, or there could be a celebrity that's spying in on you and you're not fully well aware of it. Mm. But wanting some kind of healing, cleansing, renewal, reconciliation, there is very much like a celestial connection between the two of you, very heavenly, in fact. <clears throat> I think when you met this person, Scorpio, you knew that, like you knew it, like in your mind, like, yeah, this is the one, this is the one. Yeah, this is it. I like the way that they're treating me. I like how everything is moving. And then boom, 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 <laughs> something happened, right? Yeah. Well, they're definitely wanting to reunite with you.
They definitely want to reunite and also work in on the situation. They may even wonder how your own personal work life is going. You could be working on some massive projects right now, Scorpio, and you're elevating your own personal success. Mm -hmm. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn more specifically. Oh, sign of Scorpio coming in through the death card. They're going through a massive change in their life as well, or something's going <clears> to <throat> have a closeout of a cycle. I say in order to be rebirthed here. In the past, they left you with one cup up, one cup spilled over, king of cups on the bottom of the deck. So they are very much thinking about you. And in their environment, Scorpio, hmm, it's not like I haven't seen this energy before. <laughs> Something wasn't working out <clears throat> on that fake green grass. Excuse me. <clears throat> Got to clear my throat chakra. Coffee's trying to go down. Oh, that feels so much better. <laughs> that first morning coffee on Monday. It's always the best. Yeah, going through a change. Going through a change in their environment, or if they are in this third party, that third party situation, again, other time frames, other time cycles here. Everybody's on a different path right now with their person, but there is an ending that's going to be happening here. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're wanting to, you know, rebirth the situation. There's some kind of enlightenment or they're getting a form of enlightenment over there. Over there where, you know, they've been dealing with other people, places, things, or situations. You know, the Sun card is by far the most positive card in all of the tarot deck. Again, you could be dealing with Leo, power of number 19. The 10 to 7 equaled up to the number 19. So Leo, Leo energy has made its presence known. We got the sun and the star. Getting some kind of courage. Courage to come forward. Mm, interesting. Yeah. You know, the Three of Pentacles is a card that normally in a traditional tarot deck, this is the after tarot, usually there would be three people, which could show teamwork, collaboration, but there's only one person. There's a, a singular energy that's going on. They feel alone or besides themselves. It almost feels like the way that this character is observing, like, this little imagery of the statue. That shows me that they're deep in thought. They're deep in thought about you, their life, what could have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, we got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn on the board again. Why do they want to work on this connection with Scorpio, please? Because <laughs> they're going to go through a breakup. Or their heart is aching without you, even if you know for a fact that they're not dealing with a third party. Except, that, again, it's like spirit saying, yep, there's an ending coming. Having Again, having that courage and strength. Leo and Virgo energy coming in on the bottom of the deck through the power of number eight. Go into their higher self here. Yes, I told you. Can't stop thinking about you. Yeah, you're on their mind. More so, it feels more uh, heavily 
you're on their mind. What if I would have worked things out with Scorpio? There you go. It was my fault, but I blamed you. And even if they verbally didn't say anything, they know it was their fault for the ending. It was through their actions. Yep. This is a romance of a lifetime. You knew it when you saw this person, you know, Scorpio, even if you weren't warming up to them right away when you first met them, there was something different. <laughs> you know, there was something different about this person that was just a breath of fresh air. And you kind of started to, you know, warm up to this person a little bit at a time. There you go. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this person knows what they need to do. They know what they need to do in order to prove their worthiness and also through action. I think this person's finally getting it that they need to show you real action or how they're going to do it. Because they don't have a sense of confusion that's going on in these cards. The thought of you drives me crazy. Again, thinking. Thinking about you. Only you. <laughs> I am so in love with you. You are so perfect to me. Mm -hmm. That's why they want that reconciliation. I think I think they finally get it now. Bottom of the deck. And that's exactly right, Scorpio, because you are number one. You're awesome. You're amazing. You are amazing, Scorpio. You have so much to offer, a lot to give. You know exactly how you handled the connection on your part as well, okay? And you know what you did contribute to the connection. But now this person gets it. And there's no questioning in their mind how to go about doing this. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you love this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.